Hello, thank you for watching my presentation video. I'm Ho Sang Lee, and the paper title is Operational Space Control Under Actuator Bandwidth Limitation. First, I'll briefly talk about torque-based robot control. It commands the desired torque to the actuator instead of joint angle, and the task force is directly generated by the commanded torque. The advantage is that the robot behavior can be inherently compliant to external force, and therefore the robot can safely operate in context scenarios such as multi-contact control, human-robot collaboration, and leg locomotion. Previously, we implemented reactive walking of a biped robot and multi-contact control of a humanoid robot. In both cases, human pushed the robot unexpectedly and the robot kept its balance successfully without using exteroceptive sensor measurement. Torque-based robot control can be implemented in either operational space or joint space. In operational space control, torque solution is obtained by inverse dynamics to produce the desired force at that task point. In joint space control, on the other hand, torque solution is obtained by inverse kinematics to follow the joint trajectory. Pros of operational space control are that compliance exists in redundancy and that force can be generated directly in the operational space coordinate. However, cons are that it is difficult to adjust control bandwidth of each joint and that it can be affected by dynamics model error. Therefore, it is known by experiments that operational space control lacks the ability of precise control compared to joint space control. Among various model errors, I focused on the actuator bandwidth limitation of each joint. In the actuator, the torque is generated from the commanded value by torque or current feedback. The torque transfer function can be simply modeled as diagonal matrix H shown in the right. Actuator bandwidth of each joint is limited by several factors, including actuator dynamics, inner control loop, etc. Then the bandwidth of the force at the operational space is determined by H and the force torque relationship. Therefore, a single bandwidth limited actuator can reduce all related task performances. This is the reason why the precise control is more difficult to be achieved in operational space control than in joint space control. The research goal is to settle the problem that the control performance has to be adjusted in joint space, even for the operational space controller. Previous approaches at controller level proposed projecting operational space gain matrix into joint space and in integrating operational and joint space control. However, both require joint trajectory from inverse kinematics, which loses compliance in redundancy. In this paper, we have developed a joint-weighted operational space control method. It penalizes low-performance actuators when computing torque solutions and the control form. performance is improved by high-performance actuators. The difference from other approaches is that the method does not require joint trajectory. The main concept is recursive torque addition through several steps as shown below. In step one, the torque solution is obtained using every actuators like a typical operational space controller. If the robot becomes unstable due to low performance actuators when increasing the control performance, then the controller moves on to step two. In step two, the torque solution is obtained using actuators except some low performance actuators it is added to the torque solution in step one. If the control performance cannot reach the target level, then the controller moves on to step three. In step three, more actuators are omitted except high performance ones in torque solution calculation. 
In this way, the sum of torque in all steps becomes the joint weighted torque solution. The left diagram is the overall process of obtaining the torque solution in the proposed method. The number of steps and the joint selection information are predetermined by experiments using 7 DOF manipulator Franca Emika Penda. The joint 5, 6, and 7 on wrist joints have the highest torque bandwidth, and the joint 2 and 3 have the lowest bandwidth. From these results, the number of steps is set to 3. At step 1, every joints are used, and step 2, all joints except two and three are used. And finally, at step three, joint five, six, and seven are used. The total torque solution is the sum of solutions at each step. The performance of the proposed method was verified by position tracking experiments. For comparison, three types of PD controllers were implemented. The first one, is the Operational Space Framework, or the OSF, which is a typical operational space controller. The second one is the proposed method with three steps. And the last one is the joint space controller based on closed loop inverse kinematics. It is experimentally known that the tracking performance of the OSF is lower than the joint space controller. The task was to control the end effector of Franca and Mika Panda. In experiment one, a rotational motion was given, and the end effector position marked with yellow circle was to be maintained. The RMS error shows that the tracking performance of the proposed method is similar to or better than that of joint space control. Likewise, a translational motion was given in experiment two, and both translational and rotational motion were given in experiment three. Again, the RMS errors show that the tracking performance of the proposed method is similar to or better than that of joint space control. The OSF, which does not consider joint bandwidth, has the largest tracking errors as expected. The left figure shows the joint torque solution at each step in the proposed method. It is obtained by using only high performance actuators as the step increases. The right figure shows the joint torque solution of three different controllers. In the proposed method, amplitudes of joint two and three decreased compared to the OSF as intended. Also, High frequency amplitudes of joint 5, 6, and 7 increased. These variations mean that the torque solution of the proposed method becomes similar to that of joint space control without joint trajectory. In conclusion, we have developed the joint weighted operational space controller using the recursive torque addition. As a result, Low performance actuators are penalized without the use of joint trajectory and joint space feedback gains. In the experiments using Franca and Mika Panda, the tracking performance was significantly improved compared to the typical operational space controller, which becomes similar or even better than that of joint space control. In future works, the detailed information on the joint bandwidth will be studied, and the theoretical backgrounds on determining the number of steps and feedback gains will be discussed. In addition, the inequality con conditions like maximum torque will also be considered. Thanks for watching the presentation.